So if we go back to our schedule history here, we can see there's still unscheduled hours. So we could click on that, click on there. We can uh, load up our uh, normal. Well, actually, we've, we need to schedule everything. So we can just put a tick in there and we're going to have the A list be in the priority, then C and then B. That all scheduled just for that one hour. Bang. And then we'll schedule and then we'll know that we've got every hour filled for Tuesday. So that's going to go through. So there's some unscheduled songs. And click on OK. And that's all fine. Now we can see here that we've got our 11 o'clock hour all done and we're all scheduled up. Got quite a few missing songs on there. Um, and so that's uh, scheduling history. Quick way to be able to see where we're up to. So that's the scheduling. And then uh, we've got the same windows as we saw when we go down here. The refresh log, send play out and remove from play out. And you've got an unschedule here, which you can do from this drop down tab here. So that is the schedule tab. And then uh, we've got our log. So that's Myriad Auto Track Pro, the four tabs there on the side. Some other things that are worth pointing out in the settings here. You can reuse songs settings. This enables you to reuse songs that you use maybe in your quieter, less listened to hours uh, so that you're not using up decent songs during a sort of midnight and five. It enables you to say just kind of ignore whatever I've picked between midnight and five and uh, feel free to schedule it during the day. And kicks and shuffles as well enables you to kick the certain number of songs in a deck down to the bottom of the list. So perhaps you have sort of uh, maybe you have nine songs in your A list and you're asking for three A list songs per hour. It just uh, will freshen up and uh, mean that they're not repeating every three hours. You're not having the same three songs. It'll enable you to kick and also shuffle does the same, but it just shuffles the deck and you can specify a uh, a day and hour in which to do those kicks and shuffles on your categories that you've got here. Uh, there are more details about those in the help menu here. You just go help, search for help on, and then you could just type in kicks if you wanted to find out more about kicks and shuffle, and then you can read about it here and uh, how you would get to do that. The help menu here is much enhanced in Myriad Auto Track Pro 4. And uh, so, yeah, those ones reuse song settings and kicks and shuffles. There are a couple of things worth uh, showing off. And then we've got the auto track database settings where we were earlier for characteristics. And uh, you can do all sorts of bits and pieces in there. There's some other settings that you can choose, uh, which are quite similar. You can choose how what to display in the deck viewers there as well. But uh, do feel free to take a look through the help. And of course, if you've got any problems, just give P squared a call or check out the forums as well. So that is your overview of Myriad Autotrack Pro version 4.